Vamos a la playa. Travel Diaries. I'm Roxy and I'm Kim and together we are Twin Travel 03 and on today's video we're going to help you plan your trip to Isla Holbox. So let's start off with transportation, how to get to Isla Holbox. So one of the most popular ways to get to the island is to fly into Cancun because Isla Holbox is located two hours and a half north of Cancun. And there's several ways to get there. You can get there by a private plane, you can get there by a shuttle service, taxi. And we have been to Isla Holbox several times and we've done taxi and we've done shuttle. But we've come to learn that it's more economical to take the shuttle. So we went with Holbox Shuttle and if you take a look at their website, there's many places that they can pick you up from. Like there's Merida, Tulum, Bacalar, so many places. So just so that you can get an estimate, we went separately this time to Isla Holbox. I got a private uh, transfer for six people and it was roughly 187 for the whole six people. So that was divided between six people and I booked what, like maybe a day or two days in advance and it was great communication. They contacted me to make sure that, you know, what my flight schedule was, just to make sure that they were there at the airport to pick us up and then I went with Vieira and I also booked maybe two days um, prior to my trip and I booked the shared shuttle just because I was going by myself and this was gonna be around seven to eight people on the shuttle and it was 40 43 dollars per person and to my surprise that day it was just me and another girl that was it in the whole shuttle it was amazing it was safe I highly recommend it if you're going by yourself especially as a female solo traveler highly recommend it yeah and there's always somebody there waiting for you when you exit the cancun airport with a sign so you'll know like that person is there for you and another tip that we highly recommend is do not leave the airport if you don't have pesos because you will need pesos obviously you know to buy maybe snacks along the road because they don't stop they'll, they'll ask you like hey do you want to eat something and then you maybe can buy something but you need the pesos for the ferry ride so the ferry ride's about 400 pesos round trip or 220 um, one way. It's better to do the 400 because you save yourself like 40 pesos, but if you don't know, just do the one way, 240. If you're planning on driving up to the port with your car rental, they do have parking lots where you can park your car and they charge you a daily fee. So once the shuttle drops you off at the Port of Chiquila, you're gonna see that there's several companies that you can buy your ferry tickets from. So there's Nine Hermanos and there's Holbox Express, which are mainly like the two popular ones. Holbox Express departs every 30 minutes and Nine Hermanos is every hour, the last one leaving at 9.30 p.m. So once you have your ticket and you chose your company and you're ready to sell and go visit beautiful um, Holbox, it will take approximately 30 minutes. And if you have a thousand luggages with you, don't worry about it, they all fit. This one had five and they will help you just tip your guy and you're on your way, ready to go. So you arrive to the beautiful island of Isla Holbox and then what happens next, right? So there is a line of taxis and when we say taxis, we mean golf carts. There's no cars in that island, which is really nice, right? So it's either you're gonna use a footmobile, you're gonna use a taxi, you can rent your own golf cart, you can rent a bike, whatever you like. So let's talk about it. So if you're gonna get to your hotel, obviously you wanna take a golf cart because they know their way around and they're gonna leave you at your hotel. But later on in the day, maybe you want to explore the island. You can rent a golf cart. How much did you guys rent it for? It was between 1,500 to 1,800 pesos for 12 hours. Mm -hmm. I rented bikes at my hotel and it was roughly $35 for two bikes. Now I saw the prices out in the town and it was $32 per bike. Where at my hotel, it was 35 for two. So make sure you ask if they do offer that at your hotel. What is, how much does it cost and for how many hours? So if you're planning your trip to Holbox and you don't know where to stay, let's help you out a little. So there's three main beaches. You have Playa Holbox, you have Punta Cocos, and you have Punta Mosquito. Our personal favorite is Playa Holbox because that's where the sandbar starts you know, forming and you can see it, you can, you can walk through it. There is no hotels in Playa Punta Mosquito. The only one nearest to it is Las Nubes, which back then that used to be like the most extravagant hotel. And now there's so many hotels to choose from. But I do suggest you really look into it because a lot of them are not all inclusive. There's some that offer you breakfast, but most of them will not be all inclusive. All right, so let's talk currency. So in Holbox, they only accept two forms of payment, which is either pesos or your debit and credit cards. Now, we exchange our currency upon arriving to the island, and we kind of regret that because our bank sold it to us for 17 and the island had it at 1760. So 
it was kind of a loss, but it's okay. But in Holbox, there's two exchange houses and two ATMs. Now we will go with the exchange house because if depending on how many people are visiting the island, the ATMs usually run out of money. So when you go to the exchange house, make sure that you have your passport and you have your home country physical money because if not, they will not give you currency. I tried to do it with my debit card, but they didn't let me. They say you need physical money in order to exchange. Let's talk safety. So if you're wondering if Holbox is safe, it's 100% safe. We have been visiting this island for about eight years now and it's completely safe, especially for solo female travelers. So let's talk about some things that people don't usually talk about the island. So depending on the season and how many people are at the island, there might be a chance that your power will go out and that's normal. And it also happens with the water. The water does tend to go out or sometimes there is no hot water. This happened to me at the last trip. People were upset, but that's something that is normal for us because we've seen it so many times. And now you have to keep in mind that Isla Holbox is in the Mexican Caribbean. So it's like tropical and here and there it rain, just like Cancun. Just keep in mind that everything is so compact in the island that if you have a golf cart, you need to be driving with caution because there's going to be a ton of puddles. Yeah. <laughs> that car was stuck and we helped him get out of the pitch. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the one thing that's becoming very popular and a lot of people are not a fan of, and that is seaweed season. Now, seaweed season has changed over time because we've been to the island in different types of months and sometimes we see seaweed and sometimes we don't. But this trip, we noticed that it all depends on your resort. Mine, I saw seaweed all the time, the whole stay. And with hers, she had no seaweed. Nope, the hotel actually cleaned it out every morning. So it all depends, but like she said, it's is now unpredictable because it's we went in mid-february and there was already seaweed when usually we've gone in february other years and there's no seaweed yeah it just depends so let's talk about some fun seasons in holbox so you have carnaval holbox which is holbox's carnival usually that occurs okay so i've guessed it three times and i've guessed it right so whenever you see on the calendar and you see ash wednesday that previous Tuesday, that's Fat Tuesday. So that's the day, the last day of the carnival. So that means that the carnival is the five days prior because the carnival lasts six days. And it's so much fun, but check every year because Holbox doesn't announce it until maybe two weeks before, but that's how you're gonna know when to book because it does get pricey during that season. Now you also have whale shark season, which runs from May to September, and you can go swimming with the whales. There's also flamingo season that runs from April to October, and we've got to see flamingo and actually whale sharks. We've never swam with the whale sharks, but we actually got to see the uh, flamingos over there at Punta Mosquito. And we'll have a whole separate video on the carnaval just so that we can go more into details and what you can do and what it looks like. It's so much fun. Okay, so let's talk about the tours in Holbox. <laughs> She's laughing because one of my favorite ones that I can't stand and I will not do ever again was go to Isla Pajaros because I only saw three birds. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, like jokes aside. Would I do it again? No. Would I recommend it to my family? Maybe if they want to explore, you know, have more things to do on the island. But would I do it again? No. It's just this um, tour that they take you like half a day and you go to Isla Pajaros where there's a supposedly ton of birds. I only saw three. And then they take you Further out where Punta Mosquito is at, where the nice, really nice area is at, you'll be swimming there. And then they take you to one snow that, that is nearby, but it's not it's not that big, but it's still nice. But would I do it again? No. But you have to kind of like describe what the cenote looks like. It's not like Tulum, it's not like Cancun. It's like no. a little, a little, little one. I mean, the water is super cold. It's nice. But will we do it again? No. No. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, let's go into the next one that I, I Hated and I would never do and I would not recommend it to anybody But if it's your first time going to the island and you're curious go ahead But this is just my opinion. So no one come for me, but I just have to say this the bioluminescence I think that that's a scam because What they promote or advertise is not what you see. So when we went I was expecting, you know, like the waves to hit and then, you know, you like, you see like the, the plankton and you see like the blue little, like, you know, lights. No, the guy literally went like this to his shirt, scattered like this and was like, can you see it? Can you see it? And I'm like, you couldn't see anything. And then my mom was like, pues que está viendo. And I'm like, I don't know. That's supposed to be the, the plankton, right? The bioluminescence. I think it's a scam. I wouldn't do it. Here's another popular one, but please don't come for us because 
we did this one on a recent trip and i think it was a two out of five and that is pandora we wouldn't we do not recommend it to anybody we will not we will not go back again not even the paid us a million dollars <laughs> just kidding do we just have to say it has nothing to do with avatar even though everything that they kind of showcase kind of does look like avatar maybe the things that you do in there kind of look like avatar but it has nothing to do with avatar but the food i live super hungry it's like those restaurants when you pay so much money and you leave hungry because the portions are, are really really tiny and then it, we thought it was going to be dinner and a show but you're eating and after you're done eating then they'll perform for like what like 10 minutes mm -hmm. and then the food gets served again so it's like a total of what like two hours yeah the only cute thing that we saw from that place was somebody getting proposed that was it mm -hmm. because other than that and like no no um shade to the dancers or the people doing this because they did an awesome job it's just not what they advertise it's not we paid a hundred over a hundred dollars for that when this show could be easily 20 bucks I'm sorry. And I cannot get over the first plato because I literally felt like I was eating a raw fish con huevo. Like yellow huevo. That was it. Like, no. Yeah. I mean, if you want to try it and check it out, go ahead. Do we recommend it? No. No. Not even to my worst enemy. I would go to, oh, you know what? Maybe. Go spend those $116 and go it. It was bad. I'm sorry. It's bad. All right. Let's talk shopping. So now you have to keep in mind that everything gets imported on the island. So all the prices are going to be tripled, but there's a ton of shops to buy bikinis, clothing, there's grocery stores, and there's also pharmacy stores. Do not, and I repeat, do not forget your sunscreen because you're going to end up looking like this. And it hurts so bad. But luckily for us, they do sell more sunscreen and aloe vera in the little stores. So we were able to help with the redness, but that sun is hot. So make sure you bring enough sunscreen. So hopefully all our tips help you plan your trip to Holbox. And please follow us on all our social medias, which is Instagram and TikTok at twintravel.03 for future travels because we have this year full of travels coming up.